Hi, I'm Randy. Today I have a 2020 Honda CRV Touring Trim Level. And it's Honda's best selling vehicle, selling over 300,000 units year over year for the last three years. And there's a reason why. The CRV is super affordable, really comfortable, and it seats a family of four in here comfortably. The 2020 model comes with more safety features and better MPGs. I'm gonna go through all the options and features of the car and start it up and take it for a spin. So follow me and check it out. I want to say thank you to Mercedes-Benz of Los Angeles and Rafael for lending me their Honda CRV for the day. If you're in the market for a luxury used vehicle, a sedan, SUV, CUV, or a super AMG two-door coupe, just reach out to Rafael. He'll help you find and get you into a vehicle you're looking for. Here are a few words from Rafael Gonzalez. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Rafael Gonzalez here at Mercedes-Benz of Los Angeles in downtown LA, sunny Southern California. Please, if you like today's video on the 2019 CLS 450, give it a big old thumbs up. If you want to like, comment, share, subscribe, do all of that fun stuff. Show some support for Randy's reviews and look forward to more reviews he's going to be doing on some of our vehicles here in the near future. And I do speak Spanish. For those of you that speak Spanish, también hablo español. So don't forget the name. If you want to work with me, my information and the links will be in the description below. Please check it out. Don't forget the name, all right? Rafael G, making it easy. Peace. For 2020, Honda gets rid of the 2.4 liter engine in the LX trim level. Now all CRVs have a 1.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine that pushes out 190 horsepower and 179 pound feet of torque. You get six more horses and lose one torquey from the 2.4 liter LX engine. All CRVs have a CVT transmission. MPGs are 28 in the city and 34 on the highway. 0 to 60 comes in at 7.5 seconds. This is a Honda CRV Touring trim level, which is the top of the line. It has a lot to offer its prospective buyers, such as extraordinary reliability, great fuel economy, tons of cabin space, and a timeless conservative design. The 2020 model received several fresh exterior updates from the previous year. Moving to the front, there's an updated redesigned bumper and grille, an updated headlight design, and a broad opening fog light grille. The rear now has dark tinted taillights, chrome angular exhaust tips, optional gray 19 inch wheels, and all this leads up to a more upscale and rugged appearance. This is 37 cubic feet of space. Ironically, the RAV4 is the same size. You get a CRV rubber mat, some storage space on the side, and rings to hold a cargo net. Lift up the floor and you get a spare tire by a manufacturer called Spare Tire. Just read the sidewall. There are a couple ways to put the back seats down, levers on the back of the seat, or just pull the levers back here they automatically fold down. How convenient is that? What you see is 76 cubic feet of space, big enough to fit a 60 inch TV, and depending on the size of the box, a 65 inch TV. To hide all your stuff, you get a sliding cover and four floor mats. Let's see how many Randys fit in here. The opening is super low, lower than any sedan that I know, and it's really wide. The bumper is really narrow, so you won't have to put any plastic protection here to help protect it. And there's a plastic guard on the inside. See ya! <laughs> it's really roomy in here! <laughs> About two Randys fit here comfortably! I just want to say thank you to Mercedes-Benz of Los Angeles and Rafael for lending me their 2020 Honda CRV Touring trim level for the day. If you're in the market for a luxury or a quality used vehicle, a certified new Mercedes-Benz, just come on down here, check out their website, give Rafael a call, make an appointment with him, give him an opportunity to win your business. And by the way, please hit that like, subscribe, and notification button below. They love seeing those. It helps me get cars like the Honda CRV to review for. 
you. <laughs> I love these contrasting gray seats. They're comfortable, but the bottom cushion may be a little short for taller people. You only get perforated leather trimmed seats in the EXL and Touring trim levels. Otherwise, you'll find yourself sitting in synthetic leather. Let's see how easy it is to get inside and how comfortable it is once I get in there. I'm six feet tall. I'm gonna sit behind myself. Wow, I literally have about three to three and a half inches of leg space and two to two and a half inches of headroom. Now it's really spacious in here. It could fit three kids back here comfortably. Nice job, Honda. The front seats are bolstered and have lumbar support to keep you comfy on those long trips, although it does not have a thigh extender. The seats are perforated to help keep your back nice and cool. These seats are 12-way adjustable, 4-way lumbar adjustable, and has two memory settings. The cockpit layout remains unchanged since the ergonomics are flawless. Why change something that works, right? Buttons are big, easy to read and use. The gear lever is high and easy to see the gear you're in. The dash uses soft materials and synthetic wood trimmings. The design looks modern with some classic touches. The touring trim level comes with a huge unit to house a 7 inch touchscreen display screen that's kind of integrated into the dash. The screen does have a knob to control the volume. Then you have air controls with heated seats. Below that is your traditional looking transmission knob with a brake hold economy and an engine start stop button as well as your e-brake. Below that are two USB ports, wireless charger, two cup holders, and some exposed storage space. Check this out. The top slides back to give you access to more storage space on the bottom. Lift the armrest up, slide the tray forward, and this gives you even more space. You'll find two analog and a digital gauge in front of you. There are a bunch of buttons on the steering wheel that give you access to the instrument cluster, phone, and media so you don't have to take your eyes off the road. You even get a heated steering wheel, lane keep assist, and a radar cruise control button. Look up, you'll see two map lights, three gate openers, sunglass holder, and a fish-eyed mirror so nothing sneaks up on you from behind like a high velocity Cheeto or a Lay's potato chip. You get a Honda standard size sunroof, moonroof, and a sunshade. How cool is that? Now for the fun part, let's take the 2020 Honda CRV that Mercedes-Benz of Los Angeles and Rafael led me for the day for a spin. Hopefully you stayed for this driving scene because I forgot to mention, don't get the 2019 model since all 2020 CRVs come with collision braking, road departure warning, adaptive cruise control with low speeds, forward collision warning, lane keep assist, and lane departure warning. The price difference between a 2019 and 2020 is minimal if any. The CRV offers a pleasant drive with good steering and powerful brakes. This turbocharged 1.5 liter engine gives the CRV immediate throttle response at low speeds. The CVT transmission and engine are smooth and quiet until you push this CRV hard. Then the engine, like most economy cars, begins to sound like a screaming banshee. Yucky to the ears. Yes, yucky, I said yucky. Lots and lots of yuckies. If you're looking for a compact SUV with really good fuel economy, comfortable, super reliable, dependable, and affordable, you have to look at and test drive this Honda CRV. I'm warning you though, if you get this CRV, you're gonna have it for over five years, lasting you over 100,000 miles because this SUV will not give you a reason to get a new car. It won't have any major problems or issues. So there you go, the 2020 Honda CRV Touring Trim Level. I enjoyed making the video for you. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like, subscribe, and notification button below. I'm Randy. S -s 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 See ya.